next I will show you another example which involves three variables. Yeah, three variables. So as usual, the first step is to change the three equations into matrix form A x equals to B. So we will take out the multiple of x first, which is 2, 1 and 2. So we write down 2, 1, 2. And then followed by multiple of y, which is negative 1, 2 and negative 2. So we write down negative 1, 2 and negative uh, sorry, here there's no y, so we write down 0. And then next we have multiple of z, 3z, we will write down 3, negative z will be negative 1, and negative 2z will be negative 2, followed by x, y, z, and on the right side is 3, 4, 0, which is the matrix B. So this is matrix A, and this is matrix B. That is step number 1. And then step number two is to find the determinant of A, A1, A2, and then we add another one, A3. Why is this so? Because this equation involves uh, three variables, so we have to find four determinants up to, uh, from A, A1, A2, up to A3. Okay, let's start off with finding the determinant of A. Remember, for a 3 by 3 matrix, the method to find determinant is to copy the original matrix, then copy the first two columns and put it on the right hand side here. So the next step is to draw lines, right, this way, and then uh, we have red lines and then blue lines to differentiate the two different groups of uh, elements. So we will start off with the red lines. Yeah? So 2 times 2 times negative 2 will give us negative 8. Negative 1 times negative 1 times 2 will be positive 2. 3, 1, 0 will be equal to 0. And then uh, followed by the next bracket, we will multiply all the elements in blue. Alright, so we have here 2 times 2 times 3 will give us 12 plus 0 times negative 1 times 2 will be 0 and negative 2 times 1 times negative 1 equals to 2. So from here, negative 8 plus 2 will give us negative 6 minus 12 plus 2 equals to 14. So negative 6 minus 14 is equal to negative 20. So next, to find the determinant of A1, we will copy the original matrix A1 and remember the first column will be substitute, substituted with elements from matrix B which is 3, 4, 0. And then the next step is to copy these two columns on the right hand side here. And then next step is to draw the lines as usual. Okay? So from here the determinant of A1 will be 3 times 2 times negative 2 which is negative 12 plus negative 1 times negative 1 times 0 equals 0 3 times 4 times 0 give us 0 and next minus the elements in blue so we have 0 times 2 times 3 equals 0 0 times negative 1 times 3 equals 0 and negative 2 times 4 times negative 1 equals to 8 so the left hand side bracket is equal to negative 12, right hand side is equal to 8. So negative 12 minus 8 will give us negative 